Hello everybody and welcome to Winds of Sorrow made by Scattered Star. This game was made in 7 days for the 2015 Indie Game Maker Contest. Special thanks to Corvus Uro for Tifka the Goblin's character and face graphics. Except for the Goblin, everything was made using RPG Maker VX Aces base graphics and the Humble Bundle DLC. A little bit of a disclaimer there before we start out. Huntasia's room. Okay, so um, the only thing I want to say, uh, if I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, there's another hole in the ceiling. I'll have to let Papa know about this before Belisarius arrives. Now, all I know is that you play as a girl, Fantasia, and you are forced into marriage. And that's all I'm going to say. That's all I know. The cabinet Papa made when I was little. He made it not long as... After I was announced to be wet, but well, there you go. Okay, here we are. The living room. Let's explore this a little bit. A bookshelf. Papa's books. I don't know what's in them, but Papa says once I'm married to Belisarius, I can learn if he lets me. Belisarius. Is that some sort of dinosaur? Papa says weapons are dangerous. I should leave them to the men. Oh, I already like this game. So you gonna run? Yes, I can. Let's have a quick look around. You know, if my poor little female mind can handle the mother. Oh, good morning, Fantasia. Was that something you needed? Yes. Yes, um, where's Papa? Oh, he's out in the front cutting wood. Thanks, Mama. See anything in the closet? Nah, better not check out my parents' closets, I suppose. Let's see. I'm not sure in what time period this game takes place. Family house. Let's see, are those cherries? Is something I can pick? No. But Belisarius will soon come to pick my cherry. Father, ah, good morning, my little Fantasia. What brings you out here? Okay, um, a hole in the ceiling. That's what I was supposed to say. Papa, I think the ceiling is hurt in my room. Can you make it feel better? Okay. Of course, Fantasia. Help me bring him the wood and I'll go fix the ceiling once Belisarius is gone. But what if he sees it and thinks less of us? He'll be so angry. Now, now, let me worry about that. You just make sure you are ready for his arrival. But, but... No buts, young lady. Now help me bring this wood inside. And then help Belisarius bring his wood inside. Okay. The main room. Lord Belisarius should arrive any minute now. That must be him now, honey. Can you get the door? Of course. I have arrived. And I'm very tired. Welcome, my lord. I hope your travel was safe. My travel was smooth. No raiders dared to touch my entourage. Welcome, Lord Belisarius. Please make yourself comfortable. I gather some more wood for the fire while you and my daughter gather some wood for your marriage. No. That was terrible, I'm sorry. You have my thanks. It is a pleasure to meet you, Fantasia. The pleasure is mine, I guess it's nice to meet you. I, I guess I'll stay polite for now because... Good evening, my lord. It is a ple pleasure to meet you, to meet my future husband. Ah, so polite. With such a young spirit and body, you are quite the mark. Mark, my lord? Never mind it. Ma'am, I grow thirsty for my long travel here. Some refreshments would be appreciated. Yes, my lord, right away. Great, so I'm supposed to marry this lord. Dot, dot, dot. My lord, what bothers you? You will not lay a finger on me, peasant. What? Don't pretend you didn't hear me. You disgust me. Had it not been for my damnable father, you'd have lost your head before I would take you as my own. The feeling's mutual. Let me make it clear. You don't talk about this. You won't live long if you do, my dear bride. Once I'm lord, you'll have your end. But until then, tradition must be followed. I, but... Aren't you go- And please try not to speak so much. I think your illiteracy is rubbing off on me. I hope the tea is to your liking, my lord. Ah, yes, tea will do fine, madam. What a gentleman. Lovely. I really like this guy. 
What did I do to deserve this? Grandmother, please tell me what I did wrong. Maybe father can help. Yes, that would be a problem because this Lord Douche over there is trying to kill me. What was that? Oh, yeah. I'm multitasking. I'm editing at the same time. Papa. Fantasia, what is it? Papa, I... You can confide within me everything, Fantasia. What's wrong? I... Do I... Belisari says cruel. I beg of you to call it off. Fantasia. Tradition will be met. You know the price of backing out with this cheerful music. I will not see the streets run with your blood. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Fantasia. Great. Perhaps I should take one of these weapons. But I can't. Let's see if I can do anything. Papa works on all those weapons in here. I should stay out. Would you desert fate? Such a pity. You know what? I will. I'm out of here. Magical forest. I'm out of here, Belle. I can't do it. You were wrong. You promised and you lied. I just can't do it. Please forgive me, Tyler. I'm not strong like you. The man I was to be wed to is not whom I thought him to be. I don't know what to do. Fantasia, is that you? Moria. Fantasia, what are you doing here? If you were caught here... Hey, hey, what is it? I can't go back there. I can't go home. Why not? What happened? I met my husband-to-be. Oh, you did? How was he? Was he like the stories you always told me? Hey! Tifka. Did you two forget about... M what happened? How bad was he? He said some horrible things. He was nice at first, but after we were alone. It scared me. I don't want to go back. Then don't go back. Stay with us. You'll be great. Tifka. No. Why not? Yeah, why not? I... My family's honor will be lost if I were to run away. I don't want to hurt them. But I don't know how I will get out of this. Maybe you don't have to. What are you talking about? You've started to learn magic, right? Yeah? With Mora's help, we can fake your death. Oh yeah, much better. That way your family doesn't lose their honor and you get out of the marriage. I don't think that's a good idea. I... I think we should do it. Alright, I got a plan. Well, that was arranged quickly. Fantasia! Fantasia, sweetie, where are you? Fantasia! Fantasia, come here, it's dangerous over there. Dot, dot, dot. Don't do anything brash, we need to go home. The wedding is in a week. Fantasia! Fantasia jumped off the cliff. Caught by her friend's magic, she ran into the woods. That's one trust fall. Three weeks later. Take these drinks to table three. Those mercs pay good money for these. Yes, sir, right away. Here, here's your dr drink, sir. Ah! Why, you little? I gotta got a useless wench like yourself. I ought to. I think I know how you can repay the debt. Hey, no touching the wenches. Get out of here. We don't want your business. This isn't over. Let's go, boys. I'm sure my parents feel much better now that I'm dead instead of just not marrying. Okay. So I just dropped my drink. Or his drink. Go out back and take some fresh air. You'll have one of the other girls cover for you. I'll have one of the other girls cover for you. Thank you, sir. Thankfully, I met a bit of a friendly... Let's see, can I go upstairs first? No. Well, very well then, let's do as he says. Hello, Grandpa Fred. If you don't know who that is, check out my other Let's Play. Ellie behind the inn. I can't do it. Every day, it's the same thing. I want to go home. I want to see my family again. I want to be happy. Hey, wench! 
You didn't get that chance to pay us back yet for all that gold lost. You aren't going anywhere. No, no, please don't hurt me. I don't have any money. I guess we'll just have to take what you got and gut your corpse. Okay. Plenty of buyers for a cold corpse with a pretty face. The next town are over. Oh, really? Freaking Frankenstein here. No, please don't take whatever I have, just... Stabbed in the throat, Fantasia collapses, the faint feeling of hands ruffling through her clothes for items being the only distinct feeling as reality slips from her. In her dying mind, she hears the mercenaries speak as they search her slowly dying body. Do we really expect a wench to have anything of value? The last one had a nice bag of silver on her and will get a nice sum for her body, plus the job begun in the next town over. What's the job again? Some spoiled son of a lord wants us to find his bride to be. Moron. Something about a runaway or something. Who cares, really? The pay is good. And hey, what's that? The faint ringing of metal hitting the ground rings, rings in the quiet alleyway. Fantasia's last moments of coherency were of that. Wedding ring. The one she never had the heart to get rid of. The end. Special thanks to Corvus Oro for the Goblin Tifkagar... Gosh, and Sarge for playtesting. Gosh, for helping with some parts of the writing. Oh, well, that was a sad story. Okay, well, to summarize that, she had to get married to some douchebag of a lord, and, well, she died. Horribly. Moral of the story, just get married to some douche. Anyway, this was a pretty interesting game. I thought it had a fun story to it. It had an intriguing story to it. It was to the point. It didn't have a lot of walking around for no reason. Um... And I liked it. This is a cute, fun little... Nah, fun. Not exactly fun. This is a interesting story. And I think it's a fun game to play. So if you want to play it for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll leave my Facebook and Twitter in the description. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!